the whole town hockey Minnesota Cup. fans this is what it's all about the only bad thing tonight we got about six rows of full people standing in front of us and they're about to hear everything I've got to say I am joined in the booth tonight with my son Wesson Knox and Wesson we're live on the air so let's talk here this is the eighth year that we've had this championship, you involved, you were involved with two of them. What does this spring league mean to you? It means a lot. It's just it's all about being with like your teammates and getting new, becoming friends with new kids and just learning how to play hockey full ice and stuff. So uh, you've been to most of these games. You've seen both UMD and Vermont play. You want to make a pick? To be honest, I, I like UMD in this. They've been playing great defensively, best defensive team I've seen so far in the playoffs. Yeah, they, they actually were really good against the Boston Terriers last week. I will say this though, the Vermont Catamounts, the number one seed against the UMD Bulldog number three seed, and we're underway as the puck drops and the Catamounts and Bulldogs are ready for championship hockey. Either Dahmer or Laura has it. Well, Wesson, we start underneath a little bit of fog here at Andover Community Center from the pre festivities. And the puck stuck along the boards, right in neutral ice, picked up by Easton Erickson. Erickson from the Bulldogs coming through neutral nice ice. This is a dangerous man. Around Nolan Lee. Nolan Lee pushes in the corner wisely. Puck in the slot. Number 64, Christian French just fans on it, but it gets through all the way to the sideboards and out of the zone. Actually, not out of the zone. Back in, picked up by Brandon Stearns. Brandon Stearns, one of those dangerous players in this league all season long. He comes through neutral ice, being chased there by Eason Erickson. 
and number 32, Andrew Quaid. Quaid, one of the leading goal scorers in this season so far, gets knocked down, down by the hash marks. Puck still in the UMD Bulldog zone. Just to the right of goaltender. Comes back out to the left-hand side. We're gonna get an icing call, I think, right off the bat. Get a little stoppage in play as the puck goes down. Touched by Nolan Bruno. Well, Weston, this is your first time behind the uh, microphone. How's it feel? Uh, real nervous, but a lot of fun. So any fans that are out there, we do this every time. I'm gonna give you my phone number. 612-702-9212. I want you to text us. Tell us where you're from, who you're watching, who you're rooting for, so we can put it on the air. These games are being uh, streamed live on the internet. Puck goes back to the point. Matthew Zachman from the Catamounts dumps it in. Picked up by number 20, Guider. Guider plays it up the boards to Peach. Back through neutral ice, picked up by Nolan Bruno. Bruno tries to make a play. Puck gets pushed down in the corner, being chased by Grady Fuller. Fuller falls down, but is able to push it down behind the net of Grant Landborg. Puck comes up the left-hand side. Here we go. One of the most dangerous, most prolific players in this tournament or league, Zachman. Zachman to Landborg and oh! Just fans chance. on the puck. Carter Hodgson out to square to the puck. Doesn't have to make the save as Landborg whiffs on it. And the puck comes back out. Kept in by number seven, Riker Nelson. Puck's pushed back out to Zachman. Zachman coming down the left-hand side. Around Barthel, puck goes at the net, but just to the left. No shot on goal there, we still don't have any shots on goal. 12.49 left in the first period. And Ryan Guider comes up the right hand side, stopped by Luke Talbot. Little bit of help from Matthew Zachman. We and go. we got a breakaway. Talbot to Landborg. Landborg in tight on a big save. Carter Hodgson steps up big for the Bulldogs and makes a save. And Barthel's got the energy of his father. Never heard the whistle, started to break out of the zone when we had a stoppage in play. So Weston, does this bring back memories at all of when you played yes, many, many years ago? Many, many. You won the first cup with North Dakota. You won your second cup with Colorado College. I think you were academically ineligible at North Dakota. You had to move to a new school. Probably. Yeah, probably. Puck comes down the right-hand side. Dumped into the corner. Chased back behind the net by Asher Lilleberg. Lilleberg picks it up, pushes it up the corner to number 22, Mason Scheidt. Scheidt tries to push it out, kept in by Andrew Quaid. Jansen Case picks the puck up. Makes a nice little pass to number 22, Mason Scheidt. Scheidt coming into the zone, trying to move around Andrew Quaid. In pursuit. Pucks down in the corner. We're having a little bit of trouble. It's standing room only here at the Hanover Community Center. A lot of fans on hand. Puck shot on net. Second shot that Carter Hodgins faced. Makes an easy save, gives it to the ref. We get a stoppage in play here in the first period. 11 minutes, eight seconds left. Waiting for our first text message. Ah, Chris Hendrickson from Andover watching tonight's game, hopefully with his beautiful wife, Ramey. Although his kids are standing here right with me, so his dad's probably home alone. Ramey's probably at work. Is your mom at work? She at home? Ah, so you guys are just here watching while they're relaxing. Chris, you're a smart man. Puck on the sideboard. So far, this game's been pretty close. Got a battle along the boards. Ah, Ramey's here. Chris, you're not as smart as I thought you were. <laughs> Back to Zachman. Zachman's going to pick the puck up and neutralize. Easton Erickson giving chase. Here's Christian French. French, a dangerous little man. Puck picked off. I think that's Barthel coming up the boards. If I'm not mistaken, actually I am mistaken, it's number 16, Nathan Stout. Puck down behind the net. My number 87, Teddy Jacobson. Jacobson up the boards to Guider. Guider's been very dangerous in the playoffs, Weston. He's played very, very well defensively for the Bulldogs. Puck back to Nolan Lee. Nolan Lee cutting towards us. 
right to left on your radio dial. Lee cutting through center. Going around two players. That should have been oh, there. and we're going to get an offsides. Baylor Peterson as a wing coming back, helping out. Talk a little bit about how important it is, Wes, in the defensive zone to get help from your forwards and your defensemen. Well, with the forwards, they their main focus is those trailers that are coming in the zone. You got to pick them up so the loose pucks don't go right to them. Spoken like a champion. <laughs> Puck now picked up in neutral ice by the Vermont Catamounts. The Catamounts, Grady Fuller dumps it up to Griffin Landborg. Landborg's had a lot of, lot of action so far. He gets his second shot on net. Carter Hodgson easily makes the save. And the Catamounts out shooting the uh, UMD Bulldogs, three to nothing, 8.58 left in the first period. The smoke starting to clear here at the Andover Community Center. Puck dumped in by number 11, Grady Fuller. Picked up by Quaid, ever so dangerous Andrew Quaid. They wanna take time and space away from this guy and as you can see, they're sicking him with three guys. Eason, Brandon Stearns battling against him down behind the net. Puck gets loose, I think that's number 11, Grady Fuller. I've mentioned his name quite a few times so far. Fuller having a good championship game. Puck down in the corner, we've got limited visibility again because we've got a sold out community center stand. A lot of fan faithful here. here. Brandon Stearns coming up the left hand side. Back Andrew Quaid, oh! Just wide. Just wide of the net by Brandon Stearns. Pick it up by Griffin Landborg. Oh, poked away, and this is not what the Catamounts want. This is trouble. And here comes Andrew Quaid. Bruno back, oh, and a big, big save. save. A big save by Grant Landborg. And the Catamounts keep the score 0-0. Puck picked up there. Coming around the top. Number 17 for the UMD Bulldogs. Actually, I got a number goofed up there. That's not number 17. Puck poked out to Andrew Quaid. Picked out by Griffin Landborg. Back is Mr. Barthel. Barthel wisely pokes it towards the penalty box. Landborg coming and making a nice move in pursuit. Number six, Maverick Hill. Hill's had a nice season. He uh, started slow, has gotten better every game. Starting to accomplish a lot of nice things. Block shot there by number seven, Wyatt DeQuatro. Picked up by Hill. This is the gentleman I just talked about. Tries to make a pass to the middle ice to Peach. That puck picked off. Comes back through neutral ice to Barthel. Bar Barthel plays it up the boards. Comes back into the UMD zone. Andrew Quaid chips it back all the way down the rink. No icing called. Nolan Lee picks it up. Goes behind his goaltender, Grant Landborg. Coach is looking for a pass. This is Jamison. Jace Jamison punches the puck down in the zone. Picked up by number 22, Mason Scheidt. Scheidt makes a move. Coming across the blue line. Trying to go around Guider. One That's of the best defense. defensemen in the league. Back is Nolan Lee. Guider's loose. Shot, no, oh, oh. just wide to the right-hand side. Once again, Grant Landborg square to the puck. And the Bulldogs are not able, I don't think they, well, they've had one shot on net. This puck played back in. Offsides, the Vermont Catamounts wisely push it out. We still got an offsides. We're probably gonna get a stoppage in play as we do. With 5.54 left in the first period, shots on goal, three for the Vermont Catamounts, only one for the UMD Bulldogs. And so far, what have you seen, Weston? Um, the defense for UMD really taking care of the defensive zone and getting a lot of offensive touches. Want to Most remind like everybody, phone number to text in to let us know where you're at and who you are. 612-702-9212. 612-702-9212. Text us in, let us know who you are, who you're watching, and where you're at. Guider down the left-hand side. Landberg with a beautiful save. Puck up the sideboards. I'm getting a text message from my parents. They are somewhat uh, not technologi technologically inclined, <laughs> and they can't get the game working. Hopefully, you other fans are uh, not having the same problem. 
and you're able to watch this game. Down the left-hand side, Erickson. Erickson gets a shot. Oh, well, that puck just almost snuck out into the crease. But Grand Landborg makes a stop. And we get a stoppage in play. Call my dad and ask him what he wants. Face off just to the right of Grant Lamborg. Won by the Bulldogs. Picked up by Nolan Lee. Nolan Lee backhands the puck. Peach tries to stop it. Oh, Quaid. Jeff Martin, coach Jeff Martin, not happy with that call. Brandon Stearns plays the puck up the left side. Picked up by Mr. Nelson. Ripped off by Mr. Peach. Puck just outside. Other Catamount goaltender on the right-hand side. And here comes Brandon Stearns. Stearns going up against Andrew Quaid. Shot on net, Carter Hodgson. In place, Christian French pushes it back behind the net. Picked up on the sideboards by the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs coming up the right-hand side. That's the Quattro. Uh -oh. Stearns falls down in neutral ice. Pushes it back into the Bulldog zone. Puck being played there by number 87, Teddy Jacobson. Have said his name a couple of times tonight. Jacobson playing very well defensively. He's a junior. He'll be back. And here's Maverick Hill. Picked off by Stearns. Beautiful play by Quaid. Oh, Peach Got fans out. Puck gets out of the zone to Quattro. De Quattro fighting up Brandon Stearns, trying to push it back in. De Quattro winning that battle. Back to number 20, Blake Nelson. Nelson coming towards us here in the booth. From right, right to left in your radio dial, pushing the puck through the neutral zone, but Jacobson pushes it back. All the way down to Matthew Zachman. Zachman picks that puck up, pushes it up the boards. Coach better get a guy off the rink, and we're going to have ourselves the first penalty of the night. Picked up by Quaid, French in pursuit. Quaid down the left-hand side. As you can see, the Catamounts, they are all over Andrew Quaid. And look at the senior captain. Oh, they're shot Goal! And the Bulldogs strike first on a superb effort by Andrew Quaid. And I'm not quite sure. I think the Quattro got the goal on the rebound for the Bulldogs. That might be his first goal of the season. And what a great time to put it in. Blown coverage out front, Weston. Okay, my color guy doesn't want to talk much. <laughs> the Catamounts come back in. Griffin Landborg picks the puck up. Being chased there by number 99, Eli Lee. Puck's down in the corner, and once again, I want to apologize, folks. We've got standing room only. That puck came out of the zone, yeah. and we're going to do a stoppage in play. Zachman throws it on net. The referee wisely calls offsides. And we're going to get a face-off just outside the UMD Bulldog zone. So that's the Quattro from Quaid, getting a little help from a friend down there in the booth. And we've got a one to nothing game. The Bulldogs in the lead. As Ryan Guider comes up the right-hand side, and he dumps the puck in wisely deep into the Catamount zone. Catamounts, Griffin Landborg, with the puck coming up the right-hand side. Shut off by James, Jace Jamison. Jamison. Pushing it back down in the corner. Excuse me, number 24, Colton P. Diddy pushing it back down in the corner. Getting everybody into the action. Oh, this is going to get in a penalty. We're going to get our first power game. play of the night by the Catamounts. As the UMD Bulldogs are going to go to the box for, I think, a trip or a hook. Tell her to have Josh do it. We're having technical problems, folks, up here. So bear with us just a little bit. Hopefully the game's coming in okay, and you can hear the announcing. We've just got kids and cell phones all around us. <laughs> I'm sure Al Shaver had to deal with stuff like this all the time back in the 70s. We got offsides coming, puck into the Catamount zone on the power play. Nolan Lee coming up the left-hand side.
being chased by Barthel. And we're done with the first period. Shots on goal at the Andover Community Center in the 2019 championship game, hometown hockey, Minnesota. The eighth year crowning a new champion. Shots on goal three and three. One to nothing in favor of the Bulldogs. Wesson, your thoughts on the first period? Uh, very defensively hockey, and both teams very, playing very good defensively. Uh, Got to get more work with their forwards up front. Both teams getting shots. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of offense on either team down in the uh, deep in the offensive zone. They only had three shots on net in 15 minutes of hockey. You would expect more in a championship game, but. I'm sure these coaches have prepared their goaltenders and their defensive players, and even the forwards, to play really strict defense down in their zone. True. So we got, hey, we got text messages rolling in. We got a message from Cole Huffman. He is flying right now on a plane, live uh, from Washington, D.C., flying home, and he's listening to the game uh, live stream in midair. I think he's in midair. Confirm that because you're probably the first one that's ever been in midair following one of our hockey games. Cole, thanks for checking in with us. Also got a text message from Hank Bonus says, congrats to the Terriers on their third place win earlier this evening. You gotta like it when people are uh, remembering the Terriers. Yep. Sorry I'm a little partial, that was my team. <laughs> so as we start the second period, still a power play, one minute and 10 seconds left in the power play for the Vermont Catamounts. Puck dropped, Wyatt DeQuatro coming, De coming on the left-hand side into the Catamount zone. Nolan Lee picks the puck up as DeQuatro tried to dump it. And I think it was Jansen Case that deflected it off his stick. Played out to Dylan Mysick. Mysick pushes it back down to Peach. Puck comes to the point. Why is he knocked back in by Andrew Quaid? Wyatt DeQuatro picks it up, tries to get a shot on net, is unable to do so. Gavin Peach takes Mason Scheidt down over on the right-hand side of the rink in front of the Vermont bench. Jansen Case pushes it to Luke Talbot. Talbot and Case, two very, oh, we can get out, there's another call. You knew that was coming, the old makeup call. What a move here! Scheidt with a shot And Carter Hodgson. Steps up big for the Bulldogs again. Reminiscent of Tars Lenzik of the UMD Bulldogs. I think that was Mason Scheidt, and it was. Broke down, made a beautiful move on the UMD Bulldog defenseman. Steps to his right and lets a ripper go. And Carter Hodgson makes a great save. Did we get another penalty? On, on the, I didn't see it. Did you see it? Yes, right here at the red line. Nice tripping. And the Bulldogs go down five on three. Nine seconds left in the first penalty. And number Whoa. nine, Dylan Mysick goes for the trip. And the Catamounts are up five on three. Puck goes back to the point to Matthew Zachman. Zachman dumps it back in. Picked up by number 20. This is trouble. Blake Nelson. Nelson loses it to Andrew Quaid. The last person in the world in this hockey rink you want to lose the puck to. Oh! And Quaid throws up a, a changeup, and he fools Grant Landborg. And the Bulldogs go up two to nothing with 14-23 left in the second period. And they score five on four. They're on the penalty kill. And I'll tell you what, Blake Nelson did everything he could to get that by Andrew Quaid. But that's, that's a turnover at the top of the circles, especially when on the power play, and to the wrong guy. Yep. Right around the blue line, that's the most important part of the zone. Got to get it out or get it in. We got a text message from Gary and Kathy Larson, Wilmer, Minnesota watching their grandson, Nathan Stout. We got a shot on net, Stouts. You gotta give me a second. Uh -oh. Puck picked here off, go. and here comes Quaid again. Zachman back, he'll match him with speed. Can he match him with strength? That's a great play. Puck squeezes through Grant Landborg's hands. Get back in net. We'll get back to the text message in just a moment when things calm down. Puck up the left-hand side, played by Luke Talbot. 
Actually, that's not played by Luke Talbot. That was Logan Reesh. Puck gets pushed down in the zone, picked up by Gavin Peach. Peach trying to play it up the boards, being chased there once again by Logan Reesh. Reesh is all over the rink, picked up by French on his backhand. Makes a knife move around to Quattro. Oh, and then he's taken down by Peach. No call on the play, although I can't see the referee behind the play. Did have his hand in the air. Zachman around Maverick Hill. Puck goes to French, being chased by Peach. Backhand towards the net. Played away there by, I don't think that that's Guider. I got his jersey faced away from me. I'm sorry, I can't tell you who that is. Puck goes back down to the zone. Catamount's putting on a lot of pressure. Up to Asher Lilleberg. Lilleberg trying to push it back down in the zone. We got a few guys fighting for it. Lilleberg in the mix of it. Peach falls down. Played back down once again by Colton Pete. Excuse me, Logan Reesh. This is a very physical game. A lot of board play. And that's one of the reasons it's been very tough for the Vermont Catamounts to mount any offensive pressure. Puck pushed out of the zone by Magro Kill. Played up the boards and back in by Asher Lilleberg. Kind of a stalemate here. The ice is lopsided back to Zachman. Zachman can't get loose. Here comes Lilleberg. Lilleberg around Quaid. Picked off there by number 87, Teddy Jacobson. Coming down the left-hand side. Great defensive play. Yeah, Riker Nelson with a great defensive play for the Vermont Catamounts. Picked up by Griff Lamb. We're going to get another penalty, and they're not going to no. call it. And Jeff Martin's beside himself. Down on the bench, and I'm looking for the referee. And the puck's covered up by Grant Landborg. And let's get back to this text message from Gary and Kathy Larson and Wilmer watching their grandson, Nathan, I think it's Stout. I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that wrong. If I am, I apologize. Your, cons- your son has had a great spring league for us. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. Thanks for checking in. So we got Whoop. high from Loyola, Wisconsin. Watching Owen Barthel. Must be grandparents. If you get a chance, tell me who you are. I'd like to put here your we go. in here. And here comes the Catamounts. Down the left-hand side, number 11, Grady Fuller. Fuller makes a nice move around two Bulldogs. Pushes it in the zone. Picked up by Ryan Geider. Back to the point to Stearns. This Stearns is trouble. Can't lose that there. Jace Jameson. Wisely kept into the zone. Back to Griff Landborg in neutral ice. Pushes it through neutral to Ryan Geider. Geider up the right-hand side. Being chased by Griffin Landborg. Landborg, one of the most tenacious little hockey players in this league. Once again, folks, we've got pillars, people, and a cameraman in front of us to that right corner. And here we go, puck comes up the left-hand side. Brandon Stearns trying to get around Guider. Stearns, that is goal! That went upper corner of the socket underwear drawer, and the Vermont Catamounts have got within one against the UMD Bulldogs. We got more people checking in. Jason Kolsmanberger from Spencer, Wisconsin. Gold, gold Bulldogs and number 22, Owen Barthel. Also the, for the coach, Jamie Barthel. Jamie, a very good friend of ours. I don't know if you guys have seen him on camera yet. We'll have to get the cameraman to try to zoom in at some point because he's got the wildest AWA wrestling outfit I've ever seen. So we got a two to one hockey game. Puck covered up there. Oh, Landberg loses it. We're going to stop it and play. More text messages. Grandma and Grandpa Bully are watching from South Carolina. And they're watching Wyatt DeQuatro. I want to say Wyatt DeQuatro, that whole family, some of the nicest Big people save. we've ever met. So, Grandma and Grandpa, you guys should be proud. Uh, Tom and that, that whole family, we've coached them in football and hockey. They're marvelous people. Thanks for checking in with us. And they're also watching Riker Nelson, Wyatt's best friend. So that's fun to hear. Back to ac- action. Puck down in the Catamount zone. Smart Eight clear. 25 left in the second period. Zachman throws it through neutral ice, picked off by Quaid. Got to get Quaid a stick on him. Through. 
Oh, why is he, Matthew? Oh, this kid's got speed. If you have not seen this kid go, here we go. What I watch right now, Zach put around Erickson, cut to the net, shot go! We've got ourselves a tied contest as Matthew Zachman strips the puck from Andrew Quaid, spits, sprints through neutral ice up the left-hand side of the rink and walks down and puts the puck back, Carter Hodgson. And it's tied two to two with 7.46 left in the second period. Another text from Austin Jarvey. Watching listening from his iPad at home. He says, good job on the commentary, guys. Well, Austin, you had a great game last night, my young friend. We loved watching you. And we miss you tonight. Stearns cutting up, going around, guiding in a backhanded shot. Big Stop cover. Whoa, a nice little slash there at the end. Oh, and French kind of jabbing that goaltender. The Bulldogs don't like it. Jeff Martin, coach, loves to see it. Freshman number 64. I gotta say, I gotta coach him during the summer league. He knows how to put the puck in the net yeah. and they'll go after any puck There's in a front. Great little hockey well, we could get a call there. He's gonna get a call. Oh. We're gonna get a tripping call. Well, it seems to be very crazy. E either team has yet to reach double digits on the shots on goal. We got Alan Carroll Barthel watching from Little Falls. Jamie is their son. Hey, can we zoom in on Jamie's outfit on that bench quick? His, his mom and dad have got to see how he dresses. I would imagine his mother did not dress him this morning. Jamie Barthel is one of the most wonderful men that I know, and your son is a wonderful, wonderful kid. So Grandma and Grandpa Alan Carroll, uh, you guys did a great job. We enjoy having them both involved in our program. They, uh, they do us proud. Thanks for checking in from Little Falls. Puck coming through neutral ice. Back to Quaid. Blake Nelson trips through neutral ice. Quaid's on sides. Are we getting off slope? It's, they're on sides. On sides. We got a little battle here. I think that's Luke Talbot. This is one of the very important Actually, zones. That's Jansen Case. Case, the freshman, wins that battle against Quaid. Puck goes back down to the UMD zone to Mason Scheidt. Actually, not to Scheidt, excuse me, Owen Barthel. Picked off by Nelson. Nelson battling with Peach. Peach wins that battle and the puck goes back down in the Catamount zone. Picked up by Nolan Lee. Nolan Lee goes back behind Grant Landborg. Puck comes up the left hand side. Giving chase for the, uh, the Vermont Catamounts, Logan Reesh. Owen Barthel wins that battle. Picked back up by Peach. Great puck step. Picked up by Nolan Lee. Players are on side, and here comes Quaid. Uh -oh. One of the most dangerous players in this league. Oh, and that right went through five the five hole. But it went wide to the left. And we've still got a two to two tie. Puck wisely by Griffin Lambord. Dump back down there looking for a change. Got to get a stick on him early. Can't let him get going. Yeah, you got to take away his time and space. Five minutes and 11 seconds left in the second period in a two to two tie in the 2019 Can't lose championship it here. game of the hometown Hockey Minnesota Spring League. Puck coming up the boards on the left-hand side. Played back in by UMD's number 99, Eli Lee. Puck picked off by Nolan Lee for the Catamounts. Pushes it up to Landborg. Giving chase there is Andrew Quaid. Then picked up by number 24 of the UMD Bulldogs, Colton Petey. Petey behind the net. He's a veteran of this spring league. He played last year. Picked up going through neutral ice. Giving up way too much time and space to the Catamounts. And Griffin Landborg wisely puts a body on Colton. Back down to Zachman. Zachman around around Jameson. Jace Jameson coming up the right hand side against Man, Quaid. Man, can he move? Yeah, he's fast. This kid's a great soccer player, too, with a shot on that goal. goal. That goal looked like Mike Ruzioni <laughs> and the Indian Olympics against the Russians. Gotta love it. Matthew Zachman comes down the left hand side and on one foot wisely shoots it. Just to the left of goaltender Carter Hodgson. And the Catamounts got their first lead of the evening. Three to two with 3.46 left in the second period. For the Catamounts, his second goal of the game, number one, Matthew Zachman. 
Zachman all alone for the Catamounts. He's done that twice where he's come racing through neutral ice. The Bulldogs have got to get guys in front of him to not give him that much time and space. Back to live action here in the second period. 3.18 left, scored 3-2. to two. Shots in favor of the Catamounts, 9-8. to eight. We get a stoppage and play of Mr. Knox. You've got to have something to say. What do you think about the game so far? I'm um, very surprising on the shots on goal. Yet, like I said earlier, neither team has got over 10 shots on net. Um, Great defensive hockey. Yes, very good. I got another text message here from Braden and Logan McCann. They're on their way to the game. They played for the Yale Bulldogs. The Bulldogs played last night. We had an overtime game. If I remember correctly, the score was 10-9. to <coughs> Won by the Yale Bulldogs. They took fifth place. What a great game last night, though, too. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And what a great game we had earlier with the Boston Terriers. Winning with about, I think, a minute six left over the Princeton Tigers. All games have been great and close. Exactly what we want. Every game has been within one goal. Yeah, in these playoff games. Puck and neutral ice picked up by Guider. Guider, Guider one of the best defensemen in this league. Cuts across, being bothered by Stearns. Guider gets a shot off. Grant Lamborg square to the puck, pushes it down behind the net. Jansen Case there, Wisey pushes it up the side to Nolan Bruneau. Bruneau getting a little help from his friend, number 22, Mason Scheidt. Scheidt trying to play the puck, gets it out of the zone. Comes back in by the Bulldogs, but picked up by Stearns. Eason Erickson, that's been quiet. Eason Erickson had a great start. Has not done, whoa. whoa. And Bruno goes down and down hard. And this is not a good turnover. On the other side of the ball. And Carter Hodgson's gonna wanna have that one back. Just sneaks through the five hole. That's a tough goal. As Brandon Stern just comes over the blue line and takes a shot just to the right of Carter Hodgson. And it goes five hole. Hodgson has played an absolutely phenomenal game, but he's gonna wanna have that one back, ladies and gentlemen. That puts the Bulldogs down by two. UMD better get something going, because once Vermont gets going, it's hard to stop them. So Grandma and Grandpa Knox, Mary and Nancy from Outing, Minnesota, I think are now hooked up and watching. So their grandson, Weston, should say hi. How you doing? And tell them that you're pretty excited about coming fishing. Very. So we will be up tomorrow as 40 seconds left on the clock, runs out, puck down in the catamount zone. Asher Littleberg plays the puck up the right-hand side through neutral ice to Andrew Quaid. You're going to want to take away time and space from this kid. Got to get through his hands right Quaid through the triangle. Quaid through neutral ice. Pete's uh, his own teammate gets a little bit in his way there. The puck's tied up. This is probably what the Catamounts want with Quaid on the rink. Goes back into the Catamount zone. Just to the right of their goaltender, Grant Landborg. Puck pushed up the boards wisely to Blake Nelson by Matthew Zachman. We're going to go into the third period, I think, with a 4-2 to score. The Catamounts up the number one seed. Shots on goal, 10-8. to What a great championship game so far. Hey, Grandma. How you doing? We might be able to get us on camera. We'll get us on camera for uh, Grandma and Grandpa. See if we can get us, we get us there. How you Shout doing? out to Grandma and Grandpa, you're glad you're watching. You missed your grandson's game, but you get to watch the championship. Scores four to two, we got 40 seconds left. Your thoughts, what do you think the Bulldogs gotta do to get back in this? Just keep getting shots in net and having people go to, go to the net. Both goals have been right in front of the net. Gotta just get dirty and get, get the scrums. Yeah, so far this has been a, a, a well played hockey game. Things loosened up there in the second half of that second period and the Bulldogs gave up a few too many opportunities to the Catamounts. Mm -hmm. They gotta take away time and space, especially in neutral ice, and not let guys like Brandon Stearns or Matthew Zachman get loose. And as a coach, what do you tell your kids to make that happen? Just watch the chest, try to get right through the triangle, right in between their skates and their stick. Gotta get physical. Yep, gotta get physical. All right, we're back to live action. We got more text messages coming in. The Hoskas are watching Jansen Case. And I gotta know, Hoskas, uh, what side of the family you're on. Um, actually, you gotta be 
Well, I don't know because I know the Blados. So you got to tell me what side of the family you're on. I know Jansen Case. Are the Hoskins on your side? All right, I'm looking at your daughter. Right, or uh, there are oh, your neighbors. All right, so your neighbors of the uh, Blados, huh? Neighbors of the Blados, and you're watching Jansen Case. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And then we also got a text message, like I said, from Barry and Nancy Knox from Outing, Minnesota. So we've had people from Wisconsin, South Carolina, uh, Wilmer, Little Falls. Here we go. We get back to action. Ryan Guider for the Bulldogs coming down their left-hand side. Cuts Big to the chance. Shot. Oh. oh! That puck just shot wide. UMD has had many chances, just got to hit the net. Yeah, they, they just cannot get shots on that. And Grant Landborg has been square to the puck all night and has played really well. Here come the Catamounts, Grady Fuller. Fuller through neutral ice. Puck gets chipped away to him, from, from him. And Fuller picks it back up off a Dylan, Dylan Mysick stick. Puck comes through to the Bulldogs. Get a stick to on Ryan him, get through the hands. Guider weaving through neutral ice, being chased by Griffin Landborg. And we've got an offsides as number seven, Riker Nelson, is offsides on the left-hand side of the rink. Wesson, how nervous do you get as a coach? You got 14.34 left, you're down by two. You've only had nine shots in two periods. What are you telling your guys on the on the bench? To be honest, just keep playing. Got, get that extra edge in you and just keep playing. The Bulldogs have not had a shot on net for I think about eight minutes. Mm -hmm. And they need to find a way to generate some offense. And they, big, to, and they need to do it in a hurry. Their big players need to step up. Luke Talbot. Trying to make a move around Peterson. Peterson makes a nice poke check. Pokes the puck away from Talbot. Puck coming through neutral ice. Zachman tries to play it up in the UMD zone. Picked off by Quaid. This puck goes down into Hodgson. Hodgson wisely stops the puck. Owen Barthel there. It's actually pronounced Drew Quad. It's not Drew Quad. Ha. <laughs> so we got a face off with 13.41 left in the game. Four to two, the Catamounts. Left of Carter Hodgson, Eason Erickson for the Bulldogs against Luke Talbot. That puck there won by Erickson. Erickson goes to dump it out. Matthew Zachman can't keep it in. He's waiting for everyone to get off sides. Dumps it back down to the UMD zone. That is a senior captain playing wise hockey, getting that puck deep for the Catamounts. Nolan Lee doing the same thing. Lee dumps it in, picked off by Quaid. Quaid around number 22, Mason Scheidt. Coming up the boards, Jansen Case, the freshman, doing a wonderful job taking away from Quaid. Oh, and Eason Erickson with a shot on net. Grant Landborg struggles with that one. But the puck goes in the corner, picked up this by Erickson trouble. again. Matthew Zachman, stick on puck. Every coach in the defensive zone tells him to get stick on puck, does a wonderful job keeping Erickson from getting a shot on net. Owen Barthel, back to pick this up. Luke Talbot in pursuit. He plays it up. Nolan Lee wisely plays it back through neutral ice. Picked up by Quay. Oh, you can't oh, do that. That's a bad turnover. Scheidt made a wonderful play, and Talbot Let picks me tell up you. the puck. Oh, there, we could get a slash. I can't see the referee. Talbot knows how to score. Many goal scorers on Vermont. And here's Mr. Peterson, Baylor Peterson, being chased by Scheidt. Scheidt taking down Peterson just inside the Catamount zone. Puck picked up by Quaid back in neutral ice. This is where Quaid has to do this something. This is where he's dangerous. And look at Talbot does a nice job cutting him off. Quaid's look like he's got his sea legs tonight. Puck played wisely back down in the zone. Nolan Lee coming up the right hand side looking for Case. Wisey dumps it out. Shite in pursuit. Puck all the way down to Andrew Quaid. Quaid making a move around Shite. Now making a move around Talbot. Now making a move around French. Going right through the middle. Now going through Asher Littleberg. Now coming through Making Stearns. a great move. Making a run, not oh. the goaltender. And they're looking for a rebound and they can't get it. UMD's gotta get back though. They're letting people just come down in. Here we go, three on O. And here comes French down the right hand side. He'll score. Shot. Oh, oh, big, oh, big oh. it's coming out. French still with the puck. Peach putting it down behind the net to Owen Barthel. Barthel back to the point to Stearns. Stearns keeping it in with a shot on net, tipped by Talbot. 
and Hodgson wisely covers it up. So the Bulldogs with a stoppage in play with 10.53 left in the third period. Four to two in favor of the Catamounts. Shots on goal, 14-11 in favor of the Catamounts. I got a text message, this is, hi, this is Carolyn and Brady Johnson watching from Jacksonville, Jacksonville, Florida. We are cousins of Andrew Quaid's. Well, Andrew Quaid is a marvelous kid. I've coached him now for two years, football and hockey. And I know the mom and dad very well. They are wonderful, Paul and Big Andy block are shot. wonderful people. Welcome to the program from sunny Jacksonville, Florida. What I've seen a lot tonight, a lot of block shots. People really getting their bodies in front of the puck, Listen, trying to do as much as they hockey. can. You don't get to the championship without playing tough, gritty hockey, and both of these teams have done that throughout the playoffs. Puck down to Brandon Stearns. Stearns picking up, coming left to right, and you're right to left in your radio. This is down. trouble. He's got to come over and help. Going to get a shot on net here. Hotch and, and another Big save. nice save. Picked up by Guider. Guider being pursued. I'll tell you what, Jansen Case has had a wonderful game, and so has Christian French. Two freshmen in this league. They're coming back next year, and they're going to be a handful. Puck down behind the net by Ryan Guider. Geider plays the puck up through neutral ice. Now back to Brandon Stearns. Stearns trying to dump it back into the Bulldog zone. Picked up by Geider again. He's being chased by Nelson. Puck goes back. Picked up by the UMD Bulldogs, number 87, Teddy Jacobson. Jacobs has had a nice game tonight. He's accomplished a lot for the Bulldogs. Puck dumped in by Guider. This is where UMD's got to get on the puck. Got to get chances. Yeah, they got to take away time and space, and they're not doing it. And they, they're just running, they're running out, of, out time. of time. They got to start. They're, they got to get their legs going. This is not good. French with a beautiful pass to Nelson. Nelson picked off by Guider. Great defensive play. And once again, Ryan Guider, one of the best defensemen in this league, shows why we continue to say that. Play after play. Oh, this is picked through. French with a backhand. Oh, oh, just wide of the net. Who's played very well, to, well today is Asher, number 87. A lot of puck touches. Absolutely. Puck coming up the left-hand side. Going the wrong way, young man. Through neutral ice. Through neutral ice, picked up by Zachman. Here comes Zachman again. Oh, Zachman around swoop. Erickson. Shot blocked by Quaid. Every time Quaid's on the rink, so is Matthew Zachman. Zachman in pursuit down the right hand side and covered up by Grant Landborg. And we're going to stoppage in play with 7.58 left. 4 to 2 the Catamounts. Weston, you're motioning something. What were you, what were you trying to tell me? Nothing. Face off, won by Easton Erickson. He spins, tries to get a shot on net. That's blocked in traffic. Picked up by, I think that's, Zach, that's, is that Jansen Case again? Nope, that was Zachman. Hard to tell those two apart, they're about the same size. Puck picked up by number 11 for the Catamounts, Grady Fuller. Have said Fuller's name tonight many, many times. Has played very well defensively for Vermont. Puck out in front of the net, and here comes Zachman. Zachman through neutral ice. Picked up by Quaid, and this is a tough turnover. This is a tough turnover. Oh, what a beautiful play by Nolan check. Grayson. To knock that puck in the corner. Sometimes just a little poke check will get the work done. Oh, stick on puck. How many times coaches tell you down in the defensive zone, you got to have stick on puck? I mean, I think we've told Sawyer many times. Oh, well, he's gotten better at that. <laughs> puck down in the corners. A nice little batter there between Nolan Grayson and Gavin Peach. Puck goes back out. Zachman wisely throws it to the side. Back to Quaid. Quaid dumps it back in, picked up by Peach. Back to Zachman. Zachman looking for some help. Unable to get it. Wisely dumps it out of the zone. Picked up by Dylan Mysick. Griffin Landborg putting pressure on Mysick. The Catamounts putting the puck down in the offensive zone and then turning it over to Andrew Quaid. Quaid coming up the right-hand side. And this is where the Bulldogs have got to get good. Quaid with a shot on net. Oh! And a deflection oh, off of Nolan Lee. Right in front and big clear. And Grant Landborg makes a beautiful save to keep this a two-goal game. 
This is Puck turned over to Erickson. Best. This kid can shoot. Oh. oh, he hits the pipe. He hits the pipe, throws it back out front to Quaid. Quaid gets his shot blocked by Nolan Lee. Peach giving chase to Lee. Down the left-hand side of the shot, just wider than that. Carter Hodgson, square to the puck, has played well tonight. Other than one goal, oh. this is not oh. a goal! Shot and a goal by Mason Scheidt. What a tough turnover by the Bulldogs. That's kind and the of Vermont hurt. Catamounts make this a five to two game. And almost an insurmountable separation and score for the Bulldogs to come back. And I think we're getting a timeout. Pretty early timeout. By the Bulldogs. It's been a very crazy third Assist period. Assist by Griffin Landborg, scoring the goal, shite. And I'll tell you what, Vermont, Jeff Martin about to win his fifth cup. The winning is coach in hometown hockey history. Tough for me to sit here and say, but the separation will go back to two cups between him and myself, although he's a very good coach. So, Wesson, you got 522 left in the game. The shots are fairly even. The, 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 the Catamounts have just, they've scored in opportune moments. Mm -hmm. They've done a really nice job of capitalizing on their opportunities, and the Bulldogs haven't. Easton Erickson hits the pipe. This could have been easily a four to four three, three game, game, and now it's five to two. Yeah. We get a, a bad carom down in the offensive zone and uh, Scheidt for the Catamounts puts them up by three. Yeah, very crazy. Vermont has had many chances in scoring, but most of their scores are coming just from rushes. I thought UMD has controlled the, the puck in Vermont's zone pretty much most of the third period. They have, they just haven't been able to put the puck in the net. We just got a text message from Mr. Chad Marquardt. I'd like to say hi to the Marquardt's at home, to the whole family, and hopefully Ryan's listening too. Miss you guys. Glad that you're tuning in. And I can't get rid of the glasses because without them I can't see. Catamounts win the faceoff. Puck goes down to the Bulldog zone. Jansen Case in pursuit again. I'll tell you what, number 40, 45 has had one whale of a game for the Catamounts. Great Back to Brandon right Stearns. We had a late change there. Asher Littlebird comes on the ice. Puck comes up. Once again, Asher with many puck touches, playing very good defensive hockey. We're going to have an offsides here and get a stoppage in play. The Vermont Catamounts have just seemed to be able to bottle up the UMD Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. And I think they're doing it with pure speed and effort. They're taking away time and space. They're not letting the Bulldogs, their best players, get loose. Here's one of them. Now you got Lilleberg. Lilleberg on him. Beautiful pass by Easton Erickson up to and Gavin the, Peach. And the best thing. But look at two guys of the Catamounts on the puck at all times. 50 50s. Catamounts winning. Well, not that one. Spoke too soon. The best thing is the Catamounts. They're getting them early, too. So they're not coming down the ice and getting a lot of speed. They're catching them right at the offensive blue line. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we Shot. go. Oh, no goal. That big puck save. was tipped by Owen Barthel. We've got no goal. 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 Puck sitting just to the left of Grant Landborg. We could have had a five to three game. And Landborg is able to get to the pipe and cut that one off. Once again, we're gonna throw out our phone number. Coach seemed to be getting nervous over there. 602-702-9212. Mom, if I stop talking, you'll hear dead silence. They want you to do play by play. Take us home. <laughs> Frenchie coming up up the middle. Very good, Frenchie has played good all game. Yep, I think he needs help already. He's throwing <laughs> him a lifeline. Gavin Peach down the left-hand side for the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs have yet to pull the goalie down by three. They're gonna have to do something quick. Puck comes out front. Oh, there's here's a chance. Oh, and a big save again on the doorstep. Eason Erickson, one of the most prolific goal scorers in this league. As you can see, down. UMD's goalie, um, head coach, I mean, seemed to be very nervous as he is nowhere to be seen on the bench right now. So we've got a guest in the booth, Jade Knox. My daughter has joined us. She should say hi to Grandma and Grandpa. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. We've got the whole family here. Sawyer's here in front of us. Is that Colton Japor? 
We got Colton Japor here. What's up, my friend? We got a standing room only crowd here at the Andrew Community Center. Three minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. Puck picked up by Andrew Quaid. Quaid coming up the right hand this side. This is trouble, he scores here. Stay on sides, my friend. Yeah, the, the Catamounts have just done an absolutely fabulous job of keeping him contained. And here comes Nelson. Racing after it is Jace Jamison. Nelson all by himself takes a shot. Blocked by here James we go. French. Oh, and a big save there by Carter Hodgson. That one goes in there, and it's game, set, match for the Catamounts. Kean Hendrickson joins us in the booth. We got William Blado here. We got all the kids. Beckett Lean. What's up, dude? How you doing? Jacob Ingles. How are you doing? Back to live action. Puck just across the top of the circles. Oh! oh! Quick goal! It. Doesn't even know he scored. Number seven, Riker Nelson, has just put the nails in the coffin. This is going to be trouble now. Got to wish for a miracle if you're UMD. It is six to two and it's all but sealed the deal. The Vermont Catamounts are gonna raise the hometown hockey Minnesota Cup and be the 2019 champions. I know it's a long shot. a miracle. I know it's a long shot, but Erickson let's not the, talk too soon. Erickson down the left hand side tries to get a shot on net. Erickson again spins and deals. Landborg, pull, goalies pulled. We got six guys on for the Bulldogs. Actually, we had seven for a moment. And here comes Stearns. We pay these referees well. They should probably pay attention. Here comes Guider. Once again, the Catamounts keeping everybody wide outside the dots. We got another text message. I'm going to, uh-oh, we got a kid hurt. We're going to blow the whistle. We're going to stop it and play with a minute 59 left. The score is six to two. The Vermont Catamounts. We got a text message from, I think it's Danae from St. Cloud, Owen Barthel's aunt, and I have to admit it, Jamie's sister. If you've seen his outfit, you would not admit that he's your brother tonight. So we got people from St. Cloud, we got people from Wilmer, we got people from Outing, Minnesota, we got people from South Carolina, Jacksonville, Florida. And people flying in the air. We got people from coming from Washington, D.C. in the air, flying in the air, Checking in tonight's championship game. Uh -oh. Again, comments from the fans. And again, the Catamounts, look at them, flock in front of the net. The Bulldogs cannot get any offensive pressure on Grant Landborg. We're down to a minute 42, folks. Score 62 in favor of the Catamounts. Owen Barthel shoots. Puck stopped again by Grant Landborg. Shots on net, 19-17, fairly even. Very in close. Of Vermont, in favor of Vermont. Puck down just to the left of Grant Landborg. Griffin Landborg. Smart play it getting it out. Zone. Absolutely. Back to Andrew Quaid. This is where you got to be the smartest you've ever played, right at the end of the game. Got to make all the right plays. Now we're going to stop you play at minute 14. So recap for us, Weston. You've, you've held that cup above your head twice. What's going through the minds of the Vermont Catamounts right now? Uh, it's a lot of excitement, but you got to remember you're still in a hockey game. It's not over yet. I hate to get to disagree with you, but it's over. <laughs> I know that. Puck through neutral ice, picked off by Erickson. The Bulldogs still trying to mount a little bit of a surge with 59 seconds left. Puck down to the right-hand side of Landborg, down in the corner by Easton Erickson. Erickson out front. Uh, again, the Vermont Catamounts are all over the puck. Jeff Martin had his team ready to play tonight, and they are going to hoist the cup. Puck comes on the right-hand side to Easton Erickson. Erickson coming through neutral ice. Pick, puck picked off by Mason Scheidt. Scheidt had a wonderful a trip. game and a big goal for the Catamounts. Talbot plays it up out of the zone. We're down to 26 seconds. Got to still love UMD, down. still fighting. Here comes Peach. Peach, once again, stick on puck by Matthew Zachman. Zachman plays it up, and it's all but over with 14 seconds left. Puck's in neutral ice, and once again, 
the Vermont Catamounts playing very physical against the big goal scorers of the UMD Bulldogs. And, and we'll count it down with two seconds left. And, and it's, it's, over. it's over. And you're gonna see the gloves come off. And they're gonna be on, on the goaltender, Grant Landborg. And the Vermont Catamounts have won the 2019 Hometown Hockey Minnesota Spring League Championship. And I'm gonna have to sign off, I've got duties. Because I gotta deliver the cup. Wes and you take it from here and sign us off. Say goodbye to all the fans. All right, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I know sometimes it can get confusing. It's hard to see every player, but I hope we got to everyone and hope you enjoyed watching and hope you have a great night. Talk to you later. Number 16, Nathan Stone.
number 22, Owen Barthel. Number 24, Colton Pele. Yes. 